let's scale up the data now okay for this we are going to use the from sql and pre-processing we are going to call out standard scalar and then scale out our complete data set so let's scale out our data uh, scale the data let's name this section as scale the data and from sklearn dot preprocessing we are going to import standard scalar okay so successfully you have called out standard scalar the next thing is we are going to create an object of this class so i'm going to create an object of this class of standard scalar class successfully i have created out an object now i am going to do is a uh, fit transform i'm going to transform it for that what all we don't need is we don't need the target class as of now okay we just need to transform we cannot do anything to the target class we can only tuke in changes to the features right okay so what i'm going to do is scalar dot fit I will fit it out in let's drop df dot drop and let's drop target class. Let's copy the uh, name rather than having any typo. Okay, target class. Okay, and what I will do is mention the axis is equal to one. Okay, okay, so yeah. I have done everything that is needed right now. I have uh, fitted. Now what I will do is I will transform. Okay, for transforming, I have the transform function transform. Okay, and what I am going to pass in is the uh, hmm. So what I am going to transform is I am going to drop the target class again and so what I'll do is I'll just copy it out the transform part and paste it out over here. So what I'm doing is I'm transforming the complete data set leaving the target class okay, which is again uh, of axis one. Okay, uh, This looks completely fine and this should be working for us. Yeah. let's store it in some place so let's name it at scale features hmm. let's check scale features here we have an array and let's create a data set of this array that will be, that will be the best approach probably okay so i am going to do is uh, df dot uh, let's name as feed itself feed is equal to pd dot data frame and this data frame will be having the scaled features okay this will be having the scaled features and the column name will be columns equal to df dot column okay, df dot column leaving so i don't need really the last one so what i will do is i will skip the last column and this should give me uh okay so i have has no okay the typo hmm some more error has no yeah, dot column so i guess uh, we need a blunder over here columns is equal to df dot columns hmm df dot columns yeah now we should be getting it out hmm. so we have WTT, PTI, EW, SBI, LQE. Uh, okay, so all of these are scaled now. So df.head. Hmm. So we have df.head is WT. Uh, yeah, all are scaled. Okay, now if you check df feed dot describe, you will find one thing that uh, all of these are scaled. Okay, all of these are scaled to compare with the above one mm -hmm. everything is scaled up okay everything looks fine now now that we have scaled our data the next thing that we need to do is 
we need to uh, do train test split so let's do train test split split our data set for this again we are going to call from sklearn dot model selection uh, we are going to import train test split okay this is fine the next thing is as i have always told you so what i do is i just copy out the example that we have so here we have uh, x test x test x train y train y test and now we want to pass x and y so for x and y so the first thing i need to pass is the scale features okay these array scale features let's copy it out okay in x i need all my scale features and in this i need my target class target class and i need to also mention the test size so what i'll do is i'll keep it to 0.30 percent okay that's called it hmm. everything looks fine now yeah so if you check x train we have an array and if we check y train Y train again we have the corresponding target classes okay in our next video we are going to train our model